Welcome back friends with another movie reaction. Today we are watching Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. And from the title, it kind of sounds like a medieval heist film. I don't know too much about this movie other than Chris Pine being the star of it, but I've heard that it's pretty good, so I'm looking forward to it. And I really didn't have too much knowledge of D&D even just a few years ago. I think my first real exposure to it in its purest form was season one of Stranger Things, though its influence has definitely touched a bunch of other things I'm a fan of, like uh, early Final Fantasy games and of course The Legend of Vox Machina. But yeah, since then, I've become a fan of Critical Role, wearing my Keyleth shirt for this reaction. Curious if any of them will make a cameo in this movie, but let's check out this movie. Full reaction's gonna be on Patreon, leave a like, and let's get started. That's Holga, I'm Edgin, and you are... I've been in a low cells. Never shared one with a female. Oh, God. I like it. We're oh, no. Guys. Put it Don't down her right. potato, and we wrecks him. Be very young. In the frozen pea bucket. Jonathan is on the council this time. If anyone's gonna freeze, it's him. Not gonna happen. I'll tell you, Olga. Man. This is your last day chopper, guys. I very much doubt that. Notice that Chancellor Jonathan is not present. Should we perhaps wait? Darn. Chancellor Jonathan was delayed by the storm. You may begin. I no. It's just that years ago, I became a member of the Harper's faction. A network of spies who swear an oath to fight tyranny, spies. defend the oppressed. By day, I'd eavesdrop on mercenaries, stop bandits in their tracks. <laughs> With his loot. And even bring Thane Red Wizards to justice. Wow. When you're a Harper, you're bound to make enemies. And sometimes those enemies come looking for revenge. Oh. Did they kill his wife and kid? No way! Uh. Okay, that. Uh. Hard to relive this. Without Jonathan here. Oh, Can God! Just... The next few months were among my most shameful. Oh, boy. That's when I met Holga. She oh. took pity on me. Well, she took pity on the baby. <laughs> Holga that was a sense. fellow resident of Rock Bottom. <laughs> Grab it all and run! Wow. Oh! We also added Simon, a so-so sorcerer, and a con man named <laughs> Forge, who pushed us to aim even higher. Wow. It's freaking Justice Smith and Hugh Grant. Everything changed when we met the wizard... Sophina. Sophina? We knew almost nothing about her, only that she wanted our help in robbing Korn's keep. That's a Harper stronghold. I, I don't know if you've heard of it, I'm sure. Jonathan has. The keep was filled <laughs> with priceless relics. Forge told me that among the relics in Korn's keep, there was a tablet of reawakening, capable of bringing back a single deceased person. Oh. Even killed by a red wizard's blade. Ooh, fancy. Everything just froze. She's caught in the time stop! Take the tablet. Keep Kira safe. You have my word. Did he do it? Did he keep his promise? The truth is, I implore you to please. Jonathan. For Hold it now. Ah! What? What? Me, She's throwing potatoes. She's throwing potatoes. Oh my god. We approved your pardon. <laughs> it was approved! Damn it, it was approved! We're just gonna get in more trouble now. So uh this was just our flashy exit. We knew it was approved. We're just leaving now, right? They're not gonna come after us later. <sighs> if we were only so lucky. <laughs> that bird looks ridiculous. It'd be really funny if he was actually lying about having a daughter and was just using that as a way to get out of prison. I don't... Yeah, he's not though. Been empty for a while. Some supper for you and your wife. Wife. <laughs> Me with that. Stop my wife. Those lips. So gross. Just Those lips. He sent you a letter saying he wasn't your husband anymore. Wasn't that? Oof. You wouldn't understand. I don't. I clearly, clearly don't. Hey, Winks. Is that? Yeah, it's him. 
He became a big deal after all this. His daughter. So, oh, okay. I missed you so much. What about dad? I made you this. Embroidery? Mittens. Aww. Mittens. Oh. Oh. Thanks. You know, I am so sorry for how things turned out. Why do you look mad at me? Because you're acting like it wasn't your fault. There they what? Are. <laughs> what? What did Forge say? I know you don't like hugs. But I need one. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a weirdo. Oh, <laughs> Hank. Limp hanging there. Lord Neverember fell ill. I seized the chance to try and, you know, make a difference. Couldn't have done it alone. Uh, and here she is. Oh. You remember Sophia? Well, shit. That Too hot. Scorching. I do apologize. It's scorching hot. Would you mind very much? Um... Falling down the tea? I didn't realize you were going to put your finger in. In. <laughs> If you'll give us the tablet, Kira Hogan and I will be on our way. Of course, that's why you came back. No, it wasn't for me. It was for that tablet of riches. Riches? No, it, 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 it's the, it's a tablet of reawakening. I'm sorry. What's this now? The reason why I agreed to the. They're all the, lying. Is that? But you can't blame the poor girl for distrusting you. After you all, turned her against you. Oh my God. You have been lying since you set foot in the room. You? What the heck? Yeah, you got a big old mage here. And now you're in the floor. Kira, can you come see this? You always wanted us to get caught. No, I apparently you and I have truly come to love her as my own. I, I never actually saw the appeal of being a father till I became one. But to have another person look up to you, massage your ego, to shape them in your own image. You got this, right? I know you don't. On your knees. <laughs> He's a bard, a spoony old bard. It's a Final Fantasy IV reference. Wait, we're being executed? Oh. Okay, oh. chop it off. Chop it off, let's do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. He's just <laughs> working on this the whole entire time. <laughs> He's no help at all. She's doing everything. Jeez. Dude, work faster. Oh, we got him now. Oh, Multiple concussions. <laughs> Why did he lie about the tablet? He did it! Maybe he was ashamed to admit how much he'd given up. I should probably go speak to him. I gave him the tablet of riches and he left. Lying shack sack of shit. We could shoot an arrow with a message into her room. What if it hits her? That's a risk we're gonna have to take. What if it hits her? Killing my daughter with an arrow? <laughs> no, it's not. We're gonna need a team. A team. Who's gonna help us out? We Our old friends. We abandoned her for the right reason. We a bit. I, I wouldn't put it like that. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen him in two years. I'm sure he's gotten better. Maybe a little bit. No one can hold a candle to this trick. He's doing magic tricks for people. Did he just come become a little bit blurry? He hasn't gotten better. <laughs> it's about what he's doing. There. Oh my god. This is quite hard to be slightly blurry like this. Oh. Oi! Uh, it's part of the act. No, 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 it's part of the act. Oh no! <laughs> Quick, become slightly blurry! <laughs> oh wow! That seems really useful. It's not what he meant to do. <laughs> oh man. Uh. Ah! Boy. <laughs> oh man. How is he so bad at this? Oh, that. Perfect. Do we even know what sort of arcane magic is protecting the vault? We're gonna find out! How? You're gonna sneak past the entire castle watch? Me? No. A druid, maybe? A wild shape? There's a mouse. Do we have one of those? Yes, a deer. A deer? I didn't all the other deer in the castle. Yeah, what the heck? It wasn't a very good idea, I'm sorry. I know a druid. You Dork. do? She's truly one of a kind. The prisoner is hereby sentenced to death by dismemberment. Oh. For the crime of speaking ill of our leader. The Emerald Enclave will never relent. 
damn. Justice cannot be killed. Uh, oh. oh, hey. Ah! What is that again? Now oh, there. <laughs> oh boy. Wait. Oh. Pretty daring rescue. Keel is still my favorite druid, though. There you are. Wait, wait. It's me, Simon. Simon, who? You don't remember? I courted you. You said I made you feel sad. Not from anything I did, just from who I was. <laughs> oh. I want Justice Smith to get the girl. So, how did you come to live here? I was born to humans, decided they didn't want a tiefling child. Damn. No one else took me in. What is it exactly that you bring to this? Me? I'm a, I'm a planner. Cool. You've already made the plan, so what value do you have now? If uh, the plan fails, the existing plan, I make a new plan. <laughs> so you make plans that fail? No. Deals <laughs> with the loot. He right. also plays the loot. I'm indispensable. Uh. I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for the people who took me in when no one else would. So we'll keep your share then. I, duh. She's <laughs> so blunt. What prompted you to resume the games? Lord Neverember considered them quite brutal. Capitalism. Lord Neverember and I are very different men. For example, I prefer to be up and about. He prefers to be in a vegetative state. <laughs> <laughs> you Jesus. <are> terrible. <laughs> a wild shape is among us. Oh. Shit. Oh, shit. Well done, then. <laughs> no nod. Oh, shit. Oh, she's gone. Mouse again. Become a deer, just so Helga can be like, yes, deer. <laughs> bird, bird. Bird. Thank you. These are what chocobos are based on properly. Uh oh, crap. This is a really fun shot. Fun scene. Dear, she finally did it. <laughs> Jeez. Keep running. <sighs> so she did become a deer. Yes, yes, yes. More than Canaan. Yeah, that's it. Oh, pity. <laughs> pity. Walt has more than Canaan still. We're not getting in. Not mean if I were one of the world's most powerful sorcerers. So no. Or if we had the helm of disjunction. Helm of Disjunction? It's a helmet that disables all nearby enchantments, but it doesn't matter. The thing went missing ages ago. We're done. Let's go find it. What's the problem? Or a training montage to make you the best wizard ever. Oh. Helga knows where the helmet is. Do? She does? My tribe fought the cult of the dragon over it. That battle was a century ago. They're all dead. Ask him with magic. He just made a whole speech how he can't fix everything with magic. Actually, that is something I can do. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring back the dead? We're off to the Evermores. Thank you, Simon, for the drinks. <laughs> He's paying. Oh, what? Just pay it with magic. <laughs> That's not something you could do. <laughs> uh, That's Marlinman. He's a tiny guy. We're all a little surprised the first time we met him. <laughs> I see you still have that walking stick I gave you. Yeah. Well, you could you could take it with you if you want. Bradley Gwyn's Cooper. Not much for rambling. Gwyn. Yeah, I'm in here. Oh. Of course, the pack of barley works down in here. Seems like he likes okay. them big. This is then. Oh, she doesn't make me weep in the small hours, wondering where she is. Ooh. I was in pain. I was banished from my damn tribe to be with you. And I tried to build us a home so you could forget that. But you never could. <sighs> Cherry cruise. Is this helping? And sway. Let's tip the tankard and waste the day. <laughs> I guess so. He just pumped all his stats into charisma. He's got very low everything else. Once the dead man is revived, we can ask him five questions, at which point he will die again. Five Never questions. Re Don't accidentally ask him a bunch of questions, please. Whoa, what the fuck did you just do? That's a- Delightful. Yeah. Oh god. This is gonna go so poorly. Perlamon Tergatis. Maybe I'm not saying it right. <laughs> <laughs> Four more questions, right? Yes. No, no, no. Oh, crap! Did that count as a question? Yes! yes. Oh my god! Damn it. Only answer when I talk to you, okay? Yes. Why did you say okay at the end of that? I didn't. Fantastic. Oh, fucking damn it! You gotta go to someone else. Our advantage meant nothing against the dragon Rayquel. Whoa! 
Let's go look for Stan. Wait, we have to finish the questions or else he's going to be alive. Do you like cats? No, really. Okay. <laughs> What's two plus two? I'm bad at math. Don't you feel better? No, no. <sighs> yeah, I feel much better. How many people are we going to have to dig up? Looks like Vecna. My foot slipped on the stone. Oh, so you saw nothing. Absolutely nothing. Ven Salafin, that's you, isn't it? I'm Sven Salafin. Ven's my brother. Oh, okay. It was a Thean who bore the mark of Zas Tam. Huh. He promised to keep the helmet safe. He's a paladin. He helped the Enclave defeat the clerics of Talos. I know the name as well. My uncle said Zank fended off a beholder using only a sharpened gourd. Cool. The Thans are murderers. What's his problem? He's got history with the Thans. Uh, you don't say. Feeling. If Zank turns out to be a prick, I'll split him right down the middle. <laughs> Alright. So very sweet. To lose? Anyone know where stupid Zank is? Last I heard he was working with the Harpers in Morven Shield. Great! Harpers! What's his problem with Harpers? He's got history with them. <laughs> All right, He's go. history with everybody. Excuse me. Can you kill me? I'm still alive. Right. <sighs> um, what's your favorite book? The Fanged Tome of Lycanthus Tsar. That was only the fourth question. Oh, God. Hello? Oh, no. Oh, shit. Can you ask yourself a question? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, jeez. I can see why people like him. We're trying to find the Helmet of Dysfunction. Dysfunction. Dis Function. Many lives are lost in defense of that helm. To speak of it would be to diminish their sacrifice. Our reasons for wanting the helmet are entirely noble. Yep, we're gonna rob someone. Holga! <laughs> Holga! Uh, not just anyone. Fort Fitzwilliam. And the Red Wizard of Day he's partnered with. Come with me. That got his attention. You may have forsworn your oath. Oh. But your oath hasn't forsworn you. Just because that sentence is symmetrical, it's flowery. Is not nonsense. <laughs> Why do you wish to rob Fitzwilliam? Forge is a real son of a bitch. So you blame his mother for his corruption? What? What? No, it's an expression. No. I see. <laughs> I do not traffic in colloquialisms. Oh, yeah. The beckoning death. A spell that would consume the souls of all who beheld it. Enslaving them to his will. Jeez. With the aid of his red wizards, Zastam created an army of the undead. Sounds like we have a common enemy. You give us that helmet, we take Forge down. No one stays Lord without a fortune to back him up. And the Red Wizards lose their puppet. What will become of the wealth you burgle? What does that matter? We're gonna they keep will not it. be complicit in the illicit use of ill-gotten booty. Fine, we'll divide it amongst the townspeople. Swear to it. What? Promise I'll give Forge's money to the people of Neverwhere. You may not yet believe your words, but I do. Oh. Where's the helmet? In the bowels of the Underdark. The Underdark? What? What are you trying to keep? As a boy when Zastam sees control of Thay. Terrifying. Oh. I That's escaped. where it comes from. Alive. Follow me to the orifice. The orifice. Perfect. The orifice? Yep. You heard him. Damn. Is that the butthole? I'll go last. <laughs> I'll go last. <laughs> Today's track. You may take my hand. And I will lead you. I'll tell you right now, I'm not taking his hand. Take his hand! I can't wait for him to take his hand! Get something up his sleeve. The only thing up my sleeve is my arm. <laughs> I hear that. I hear that as well. I hate you. <laughs> Keep still. Quick, take his hand. The higher the intelligence of the prey, the more likely they are to strike. Oh no. Then you're all safe then, right? They're shaped like grains. <laughs> Good, you're all dumbasses. <laughs> well, that's a little hurtful. The bridge is protected by an ancient gnomish trap. Odd numbered blocks only, moving forward with each step except for every fifth step, which must be a lateral move. Left or right, it matters not, so long as the leader and the laggard remain equidistant. Until we reach the three. Oh, Simon. They wouldn't have been able to remember anyway, remember? Because... I... Low intelligence? Sorry. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> that glare. It's not very structurally sound. <laughs> He's just looking at him. It's not a walking stick. Oh. It's a hither thither staff. Is it weather what hither thither staff? A range of around 500 yards. Hither. Thither. It's a portal staff. We found it. This I give you now, trusting that you will protect it with your very life. It's the dysfunction helmet. Hold, Hold it. Oh. Hello. Fame assassins. Shit. Leave them to me. You're gonna do it all by yourself? Oh. We don't even have to help at all? He's gonna do it all by himself. Oh no. Somebody help him. Oh. Oh. Well, damn. We must flee. Why? Kill them all. There's no simple feat to kill that which is already dead. Oh. Oh, well, damn. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Should have told them to start running when you were still killing them. Whoa. It's a big boy. He's a big boy. Oh, boy. Ow. Oh. They don't need to be faster than the dragon, they just need to be faster than these assassins. <laughs> You're still trying to cut us off. Well, thanks for that. We should have been using this all along, actually. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, there, there, there's staff. Oh, you're just gonna... Oh, shit. I think you're a bigger fan of him now than you were before. Thank you? Thanks for that. You'd have done the same for me. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Remember that trick you didn't try, War? Fresh cut grass, no? No, it's a fight, fight, bigger one. Yo, what? Hold on, hit him. Wanna make him angry? Oh. oh. So, what are you looking at? A harper shaking off his slumber. <laughs> Oh, he's excited for this. He's the man with a plan. Finger! Make yourself slightly blurry. <laughs> oh. This is where I leave. It. <laughs> it's full of water. No! Join us! In those instances where faith wanes and doubt waxes, I recall the tenets of the ancients. Okay. See you later. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Don't want to listen to your speech. Ah. Uh. Aw, I want to see more of him. Maybe he'll show back up at the end. If I can't connect with it, it'll be useless. That's a lot of pressure, given all we went through to get it. Yeah, I realize that. Yeah. Whoa! Everything froze. Oh my great great grandfather. <laughs> cool. What makes you think you're worthy of it? Uh, he doesn't think I he's worthy. Even myself. You're asking. Me? No. Yes. I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure? Uh-huh. Sure, sure. Uh -huh. Aww. Did you return with that? It, no. Okay. I'll try a different approach. Great. New approach. Oh, That's man. Fine. You got this. You got this. Aww. <laughs> Aww. You're getting better. Is Good he? For. You fail. <laughs> I never get my family back. Oh, yeah. Aww. <laughs> and you want to be a harper? Quiet. Oh. <laughs> it's a dragonfly. Stop <laughs> trying to capture it. You just have to let it go. Ed. Just like he's gonna have to let Ed. his wife go. We've got a problem. We can't do it. We must never stop failing because the minute we do, we failed. Yeah. That's pretty deep, actually. Here can say That's lives. pretty deep. And I am sure the last thing you want to do is tell the Emerald Enclave that you had a chance to save him, but you walked away. Hey, you're quick to call us failures. What about you, Ed? Me? He's not calling you failures. I'm the champion of failures. I lost everything that ever mattered to me, and it was all my fault. But he keeps on trying. You haven't failed if you keep on trying. I wasn't a failed DJ. I was pre-successful. I decided 
we deserved a better life than a Harper's Oath would allow us. Oh. But they didn't know that Red Wizards marked their treasure. It led them right to our door. I failed the Harpers, I failed my family, I failed all of you, which is exactly why I can't quit. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go sit on this rock, and make a plan. Jeez. The Bard is there for inspiration. That's what he's there for. Oh, We're all sharing this one rock. <laughs> Fine, I'll keep putting on the fucking helmet. Oh, it's set too, but there's no more room on the rock. <laughs> We put the portal on something and then sneak that thing into the vault. Huh. Oh, God, I could kiss you. Try it. <laughs> try it. Don't try it. <laughs> they aren't going to check before. I thought we were going to go in later after it's already in the vault. Whoa. Ugh. <sighs> Hi! We're just having a little fun. Oh. Oh, and now she makes her escape. That makes sense. Do not leave the arena till the close of the games, as there will be a wonderful gift for each and every one of you. What is happening? Wait! Uh, what happened? It's facing the floor. Why would they store it that way? We're going to Plan C. Plan C. Bollocks. What's Plan C? Plan C is we go back to Plan A. Oh, hey. You're gonna tune to the helmet. Oh my Why God! You, just... you couldn't spider climb until Jollum sicked his dog on you. And when we robbed the sphere of the <laughs> old Fezzi, you flipped the gravity of the whole theater. You did? Yeah. By accident. It was wild magic, and that only happened because they were gonna kill me. Exactly. Yeah. In times of you great need. If I can get a quarter inch, I'll be able to squeeze through as a worm. You see this? Now we have a plan D if plan C fails. <laughs> plan D, just plan B again. Yes, plan yes. Is a is now a oh, <laughs> celebrate lasses and celebrate lasses. Celebrate lasses. Celebrate He's... lasses. Braid, 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 What madness is this? What madness is this? Interlopers, now you get your foot free. Oh. Find the vault. You sure I can't help? I'm certain. Don't have to be so certain. The best you can do is make yourself a little blurry. Not really that helpful. She's just really good at what she does, isn't she? Oh, 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 no. Whoa. Whoa. It's now or never. Oh, just punch him in the face. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh. Long enough. Cool. He did it. That you? Well done. <laughs> I guess it was just me holding me back. That's what yes. I yes. Yes. And there she is, as a word. Ah. Nothing here. What? what do you mean? It's all here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, he's under the arena. Jeez. Forge. Yeah, he meant to steal all of this. Jeez. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Shit. I know you think I'm a, a, a liar and a bad father, but he's just a liar. He's not a bad father. I am a bad father. No. And I wasn't trying to bring your mom back. I was trying to bring my wife back. Wow. <laughs> Shit. What? <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Well, fuck. Well, that was creepy as heck, that transformation. Put us in the high sun games. Give us a fighting chance. That's not a chance. It's not a chance at all. They defeated your men and mine. Let them fight in the arena. They deserve that much. They do? Well, thank you, Sophina. I guess. This dummy talked Forge into putting us in the games. Dummy? <laughs> I saved our lives. Barely. Got us right above Dunk. Dunk. The Dunk. 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 a little suspect that Sophina would agree to this. Oh, yeah, she's definitely planned something. Yeah. Maybe I can get us out of here. By transforming into a different... 
magic suppression cuff. Damn. They put one on me too. Oh, wow. Oh shit, Mimic! 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 Wait, should you guys leave her behind? The sword, the sword! Thank you. We've taken all the gold. We've stolen it all. Now, make your escape. I do hope that our collaboration has been as gratifying for you as it Get has. out of my city. My city. What do they want? Oh boy. Oh shit! It was burning? Another minute I would have lost my hand. But look what you did lose. Come on. Oh nice! When they hear the gong, we jump in. Into this thing. You wanna end up like that guy? What? What is she thinking? I will, trust me. Always. Always. They're gonna get taken away. One finger out. Oh, jeez. That was a smart move. She saw the pieces getting... Get them out, get them out! It's the tablet of reawakening, Kira. It's the reason why I left you. Your dad's been telling you the truth, Bug. It's Uncle Forge who's been feeding you lies. <laughs> Put down the tablet and get off my ship, all of you. Now? Okay. Okay. Potato! <laughs> Potato Chuck! What the heck? Oh, damn, she threw that hard. Nobody hurts my butt. Aww. And we're taking your treasure anyway. <laughs> Drown him. Aww, he's alive. Oh, she's just doing this ritual again. How much loot is on this ship? We gotta split it with the city, though. Are we gonna have to go back and save the city? It's what you think it is. Is it kind of too late now that it's already started? What can we even do at this point? I demand a ship and crew to chase down five people. Oh boy. <laughs> Who are on that ship? They stripped the bear? Oh no, it's oh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, sure, sure. It's leading people out of the stadium. Stay hidden. Use your pen now. Ooh. What do you think she's gone? Boy. Oh man. Oh no, she did not miss. She did not the fuck miss. Oh. Yikes. Yikes. What the heck? Master hand shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> not so sad anymore. You gotta finger her just right. That. Ouch. He's just whacking her <laughs> with his loot. <laughs> oh man. Ah. It's another time stop. I'm so sorry. Come on. Just as I begin to purge this place of its living filth, you dare interpose. Yes. Are you faking being frozen? How did you fake being Sorry, frozen? Breath just, it's bad. What the heck? Oh. What is oh. Your time stop. Oh. Oh. I think you got her. Nope. Just keep going. <laughs> oh man. Um. Do you want to double check? I honestly didn't think that plan was gonna work. You assured us it would. <laughs> hey, Holga! Holga? Uh, don't pull it out! Oh, that's, that's not a good spot, is it? No, don't pull it out! You're not supposed to pull it out! It's. Oh, God. <sighs> no way! Is I that. Need you. 
Is that what we use, have to use the tablet on? He chooses to bring back his daughter's mother rather than his wife. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's the right move. <laughs> yeah. You know what to do. Don't tell me you wasted. Yeah, we it. did. We did. Wasted. Why would you do that? <laughs> so, uh, I know my last attempt to court you was quite bad. <laughs> but, but I wonder if you'd consider having another go at it. Yeah, all right. Yeah? Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <sighs> Oh, shit. Of course, you know what happened after that. With Safina's magic expunged, Lord Neverember finally came to. Oh, he's full of life now. His first official. Oh. Uh, oh, she's into that. My actions, reprehensible though they were, led to a virtual renaissance for the city. And while I've uh, so Now he's in prison. <laughs> it has been eye-opening. Keep it in here. A lot of it goes back to my mom. Okay. She was a... We're getting its backstory now. Prone to fits stop, of... stop. We've heard enough. Yeah. Pardon denied. Yeah. He's going to try to escape. Fly me out of here. Oh. They boarded up that window. They boarded it up after the last escape attempt. Apparently I missed the post credit scene, so I'm back. Hello. Oh, he's still here. Now... Can somebody please ask me another question? <laughs> Anyone? Why? Somebody just ask him one last question. He's gonna be there forever. I was hoping they would touch back on the dead guy. Man, just ask him one more question. He's gonna be stuck in that graveyard as a rotting corpse for such a long time. And asking yourself a question probably doesn't work, but I would have at least tried it. Definitely could tell from the moment they mentioned the five questions thing that the group would mess up and accidentally run through all of them. Good thing they had a whole graveyard to ask, though. Anyway, I wound up really liking this movie. No critical role cameos, but that's fine. Though if they wanted to, I feel like the different teams trying to get through the maze would have been an excellent opportunity to do that. And as far as I know, they're the most recognizable faces associated with D&D, so maybe it'll happen in a sequel or something. I knew from the jump that there'd be no way Edgen would bring his wife back after so many years, but the story still surprised me with how emotional it got to be, so applause for them for playing into my expectations while simultaneously subverting them. And yeah, Edgen apologizes to not Kira about how he wasn't trying to revive her mother, he was trying to revive his wife. And so I caught on to what Edgen was going to do with the tablet moments before he thought of it, but it was still definitely emotional. And so yeah, he chose to be a good father and revive his daughter's mother, not his own wife, and it's set up really well, and the emotional gut punch is great. Like, Holga was probably my least favorite of the main cast of characters, but that part of the movie worked really, really well. And it's not to say I disliked her, because she's a cool, kick-ass woman. Of course I liked her. I just liked the other characters more. Definitely still appreciated her interaction with her ex-husband, who I think was Bradley Cooper. When I saw his new wife, I was like, oh, he definitely has a type. But at the end of the film, when Holga was being presented with an award by a similarly small person, she seemed really into him as well. So it seems like she's the one with the type. Or both of them, actually, yeah. But yeah, Chris Pine, as this stupid, stubborn bard, he's so useless in a fight compared to the others. I think he took out exactly, like, one person in this movie. It was the guy at the start of the film, he smacked him with his loot, and it was hilarious seeing that final battle with everybody just attacking with magic, with beast transformation, with strong, powerful weapons, and he's just swinging his loot. Oh, it's so, so funny. But he's a man with a plan, a lot of plans, actually. He just keeps coming up with more or reusing old plans that seem destined to fail. And he's good at keeping up the team's spirits, which is very fitting for a bard. He's good at getting them to stand up again after they fail. As long as you don't give up, you're not a failure. I really like that sentiment. As Jason Mendoza said, you're not a failure, you're just pre-successful. And I might want to edit that into the YouTube reaction as well. Uh, but definitely like Simon, I really, really thought the slightly blurry thing would somehow, somehow be useful. I kept making jokes about it, but it was the finger candle that did the trick. But uh, it turns out... What stood between him and becoming a great sorcerer was his own self-doubt. That's all it was. As soon as he punched his great-great-grandfather or whatever, he actually had the courage to push past the expectations put on him and be his own man. 
And then he's suddenly a pretty darn good sorcerer. He's always been capable of what he needs to do, he just had to realize it to fully tap into his power. And I've only seen Justice Smith in Detective Pikachu and the video game The Quarry, but I really like him so it was nice to watch him in this as well. And to see him maybe get the girl, after being so unmemorable when asking Doric out in the first place, he finally gets a date with her and he is so so excited, she's just like, calm down. Uh, it'd be really really funny if there's a sequel and by that point she's like head over heels for him, it'd be super fun. Speaking of Doric though, might be my favorite character, but that might just be my Keyleth bias showing really really hard, just both red-headed druids. But I also really like the actor as well, Sophia Lillis, uh, saw her in IT Chapter 1 as Beverly Marsh. And yeah, turning into an owlbear and just thrashing everybody, including the red mage at the end, puny mage. And yeah, it was really, really brutal. I still wanted to double check if the mage was really, really dead though, but I suppose it was confirmed when the old leader of the city came back and was reinstated. I do feel like the whole chosen family angle they went with at the end was sweet, but it also felt like Doric's connection to all of them wasn't strong enough to really justify her sticking with the group since everybody else has known each other much longer. But I still love the character overall, and she's warming up to humans now. I would love to see more uh, adventures with them in the future. And Hugh Grant was a lot of fun as Forge the villain, just so freaking evil. And he really did feel some affection for Edgin's daughter, but was still willing to hold her hostage to get what he wanted. What a grade A douchebag, just all for some money. And his acting made it easy to hate him, and I have to give Hugh Grant props for that. I think I've only really seen him in this and his small role in Glass Onion. And then we had the character who might just be the coolest person in the entire film, Zenk. Man, I was really bummed when he had to leave the party because he was such a badass while also having like funny quirks like freaking walking over the rock so he can continue in a straight line instead of around it. He's the kind of person to like Kool-Aid through a wall instead of using a door. And I definitely thought he'd come back, but I thought it would be in a more significant role. But yeah, he was the person who put Forge in prison. And I think I've seen the actor in like posters or like ads for Bridgerton or one of those other like Pride and Prejudice looking shows. But I hadn't seen him act in anything before and he's really, really good in this movie. But yeah, this movie was really, really charming. I said Edgin has all his points in charisma, but really, the movie has a lot of it as well. The humor really, really hit. Like, for a lot of people, the MCU-type humor really hasn't hit recently. I still enjoy it, but I feel like I enjoyed the humor in this movie even more. Some of it is just, like, stupid laughs, but I just really, really liked it anyway. Freaking Chris Pine's face melting due to the screwy projection spell, that was really, really great. And then there was the running jokes like Helga desperately wanting a druid who could change into a deer, and then it finally happened. And Holga also had some very funny dumb barbarian moments, uh, being overly blunt at times. And, oh, speaking of dumb, the brains, the freaking brains ignored all of them. That, that was beautiful, that's hilarious. And I really enjoyed the way Doric was transforming all over the place, that was really cool. Freaking Simon breaking the bridge was hilarious, but they happened upon a hither-thither staff that was basically a portal gun. Really cool stuff. And yeah, Doric thinking up a big way to escape from the maze and competition by going into the caustic jelly cube was inspired. Ah, uh, the big fat dragon as well. It was kind of cute actually. Just like so many little details in this movie that were so amusing and yeah, really enjoyed this movie. And it has a good emotional hook as well. So yeah, much better than I thought it would be uh, when I first learned about it. I wouldn't say no to a sequel at all. It was a very good movie. I would actually give it a 9 out of 10. But all right, full reactions on Patreon. Leave a like, subscribe because we got movie reactions coming every week. John Wick 4 is coming in two weeks. Excited for that. So I'll see you all soon with more. Bye, friends.